What's up guys? So I want to talk about one of my videos. It's the Giant Contend, which model to buy, one, two, or three. That video is misleading. Okay, so I made that video if you wanted to upgrade the Giant Contend and which one to go with. This video, I want to talk about the pros and cons of each model and which one you want to go with. So join me on this video. Hey guys, so my wife is in the other room painting and I hate painting. So as long as I keep getting subscribers, I don't have to paint. I can work on my videos. So uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button so I don't have to paint. Okay, thank you. Okay, so some models in other countries may not have the exact same specs that I have listed here, but most of them are the same. So let's go ahead and talk about the similarities first. Okay, they all have the same alloy frame, full carbon fork and carbon steer tube, flat mount disc brakes, through axles, front and rear, fender mounts, threaded bottom bracket, and they all come with a 1134 rear cassette and also a 50 by 34 front chain ring. So uh, it has really good gearing for gravel and also for climbing. Uh, they all come with a 700 by 32 C set of tires. Uh, and they all have the same wheels actually. All right, so let's talk about each model and then we can compare. Now, the Contend AR1, it has Shimano 105 full hydraulic 2x11 group set. All right, it has wheels and tires that are tubeless compatible. All right, it has a carbon defuse seat post. It has a defuse handlebar, but it's actually the alloy model, so it's not as compliant as like the carbon model that's on some of the giant defies. The Contend AR2 comes with a Tiagra 2x10 speed group set. Uh, it actually comes with a giant conduct brake system, which is interesting. It's like a hybrid system where it's a cable leading to uh, the, the, the hydraulics. So I've actually used this in the past and have been very impressed with it. It's a way giant can actually put hydraulic brakes on a cheaper uh, you know, group set. Uh, it comes with a regular giant contact alloy round handlebar. Um, it comes with a carbon defuse seat post. All right, so let's go to the Contend AR3. This comes with Shimano Sora 2x9 group set. Uh, it comes with the Tektra cable, uh, mechanical cable brakes. Basically, they're, they're disc brakes, but they, they have to be actuated by a cable. Uh, they come with a regular giant contact alloy handlebars, and they come with an alloy defuse seat post, so a little bit different than the others. So let's go ahead and talk about the, the highlights of these three models. So uh, let's say you don't care about the group set because they all have the same range as far as climbing and, and top end, but you know, one's an 11 speed, one's a 10 speed, and one's a nine speed. So if you don't really care about that, it really comes down to the brakes, the components, and also the tires, okay? So first off, let's talk about the brakes, all right? So uh, the one has a full hydraulic brake system, the two has that hybrid hydraulic brake system, and the three has a mechanical brake system. My opinion, I would go with either one or two, uh, just because the mechanical cable actuated brakes, if you get any kind of you know dirt or grime or anything in the housing, the brakes aren't gonna work as well. They're just not as strong as a hydraulic brake system in general. Uh, so depending on your conditions, where you ride, what you're gonna do with the bike, I would lean more towards the one and two there. Now the components, really the main difference with the components uh, is that carbon seat post, the carbon defuse seat post. That's going to allow a little bit more flex uh, and kind of you know neutralize some of that buzz from the from the road. So the one and the two both have carbon seat post. The three has the alloy seat post, so it's probably going to be a little more harsh than the other two. Now in my opinion, once again, I would go with the one or two just because of that carbon seat post, um, but everything else is pretty close there. Now, the wheels and tires. Now, what's interesting, they all have the same wheels, like I've said before. The difference is the tires. The one and two have the same model tires, which actually are tubeless compatible. Now, the three has the same wheels, but the tires are not tubeless compatible. So, if you're gonna upgrade your tires anyway, then this is a non-issue. Now, tire clearance. This is very interesting because actually, the frames can clear up to a 42C tire. Now, Giant claims 38C, but I've done a video uh, before on this, and uh, it'll be right here linked above. So uh, check that out. 
the one and the, the three can clear 42C. The number two frame can actually, uh, it will actually a little limited there because of that front derailleur. It comes with that Tiagra, which has a really long arm that, that sticks up. And, and Shimano made this with the Durace and the Ultegra before, and they just, you know, carried it on to the Tiagra. So the problem with that is obviously if you have large rubber in the rear, you're going to have some, some rubbing there with that uh, front derailleur. Okay, so then it comes down to which model to choose. And I think it just depends on what you plan to do with your bike. In my opinion, if you're going to be riding gravel, put some large rubber on the tire or on the, on the frame and everything, I would go with the one because then you could put that larger rubber, you have the full hydraulic brake system and uh, you know no fears of anything messing up there. That's what I would do. Now, if you mainly just ride on the road and you know, you may want to just go with the two uh, because you know it is limited with that tire clearance, uh, but you still get that kind of hydraulic brake system uh, with that one. So, so if you're just going to be riding on the on the road mainly, then I would go with the two. Another option as well with the two is you could probably change that front derailleur out, and then you wouldn't have an that would be a non-issue. So, uh, and then if you're just tight on money and you know you may decide you know you're just trying cycling and you want to you know to see what it's like you may want to try a little bit of gravel uh, I would go with the three you know you could always slowly upgrade it later or you know go on and buy something uh, that's even even better so um, I really in my opinion you cannot go wrong with any of these bikes uh, they're such amazing and capable bikes especially for the price so um, hopefully this helped you out in your decision uh, let me know in the comments below if it did or not and uh, if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and uh, we'll see you in the next video.